Hey guys, um, I know I said I wouldn't make weekly vlogs a regular thing. I would just do them whenever they felt felt right to do. And this week it felt better to do, to do a weekly vlog because I'm still still not catching up but just sort of getting back into the swing of things after Christmas and I feel like there's not a particular day this week that I want to just film the whole day of so I thought let's just film little bits of every day this week although I'm still editing my first weekly vlog hoping to get that up today or tomorrow this time I will try not to film four and a half hours worth of footage but also I will only film I'll film five days, so I'll film Monday to Friday. I feel like that's a normal weekly vlog. I don't really watch many weekly vlogs, so I'm not sure. But I'm, I'm, I might be making my own rules up here, but I feel like Monday to Friday is good. Or it wouldn't be a bedroom vlog if I didn't have my snuggly pillow. Last week was really weird. Monday was New Year's Day, which meant Doug didn't have work. Delilah was back at the Childminders, but she wasn't back at the Childminders properly because it was actually still the Christmas holidays for everyone in school and she has children herself. So I I mean I'm so lucky that she even does any hours during this um during half terms and during end of terms. Delilah had half the amount of hours she normally has during the week and she went on Tuesday, which she normally goes um, which she normally goes to the childminders on but then she went on Friday it was just really odd because she never normally goes to the childminders on Friday and then Doug worked on Sunday and he doesn't normally work on a Sunday so the whole week was just very strange first week back after the Christmas holidays is, is always a bit weird first week of 2018 it was just a bit of a strange week and um, so I'm looking forward to getting back into our, into our normal routine this week Mondays for me are usually my days where as, as you can tell I don't put makeup on, I don't worry about my hair, I lounge in really comfy clothes and I just, I get stuff done. So today's agenda is to do lots of editing, organise a few bits, make some phone calls and you're probably wondering what's down here. <laughs> organise all our lush stuff and I brought a towel in underneath it because I think where it gets a bit condensation-y, <laughs> condensation that's not a word. Where it gets quite wet in our bathroom, I think it's made one of the bubble bars or bath bombs leak. Because our windowsill was orange, so I've had to put a towel underneath just in case. Got a load of Lush stuff in here and also um, Doug's got a few bits in here that I got him for Christmas so he doesn't steal my stuff. Oh, I just chucked it across the room. I get a lot of Lush stuff in one go. Um, because then I like to do hauls and doing it that way means that after I've had them for a while they start to lose their like their fizz they still smell great but they lose their colour and when you put them in the bath they usually just stink and melt whereas bath bombs and bath ballistics should like fizz and do crazy things and I'm pretty sure these bath bombs are probably all mulchy and soft already because they've been in our bathroom which with like barely any packaging on but for the future i'm gonna put everything in here and hopefully it should just keep them fresh half of them are all wet Ooh. oh dear Leaked. It's my little foot pumice scrub thing. I have bubble bars and stuff in here. I've got some little bath melts. I'm gonna pop those in there too. I'm gonna get another one of these small ones because actually they fit quite a lot in. As much as I want to just put it in here now, it's not gonna fit in my cupboard so I'm gonna exchange it and get a smaller one. And for now I just, oh I guess I'll have to put them back in here. Now to get on with some editing. Gonna pop some washing on. Uh, sort it out I might as well give it a little bit of a clean out I've sat down to have some lunch and I'm going to watch 
a quick vlog we had broccoli to use up in the fridge so i'm going to use that up and then buried beneath the broccoli is the leftovers of last night's dinner which was so good it was my first time making it and it was the veggie shepherd's pie out of naomi smart's cookbook and it is so good so we ate most of it but we have um a few leftovers today so i'm gonna have this for my lunch when granddad left my mum and my sister and her family came over for new years we played games we drank too much i taught my brother how to play fifa i'm gonna show them your cool glasses <laughs> just spent the last 10 minutes putting her sunglasses on and off but then after a while she's like no I don't want them on anymore she looks so cute i did a little instagram story of a couple of photos i took of her at the weekend when she had them on she looked a picture she managed to uh, climb on top of her toy box oh darling this is just it's just a box she had no trousers on socks like knee-high stripy socks a jumper and a pair of sunnies and she was just like yeah all the sass in the world. I'm hoping she's gonna get to the point where she actually likes keeping sunglasses on in the summer this summer. We managed to get the bookshelf up uh, yesterday and I think it looks quite good. As you can tell, it's um, a lot later on in the day. It's been a good day. It's been a good start. Ooh, I can have blue stars all over my face now. She's playing with a, a, a light thing that I got her ages ago. So if I keep getting random blue stars and lights on my face, that that is why. <laughs> Spent a lot of the day editing and um, got a lot of stuff organized i didn't plan to but i ended up clearing out um, and having a bit of a clean of um the inside of my wardrobe there was a, just a ton of like wrapping paper and things that just needed sorting out so it's nice and organized in my wardrobe now and just done lots of general organizing and clearing and it's been a really productive day so yeah good start to the week it's lunchtime and i've made myself this sweet corn chowder um never made a chowder before this now has to cook for about 10 minutes so hopefully it should reduce but there's lots lots of nice veggies in here and this is from the 15 minute vegan cookbook i've been really enjoying the recipe so far um but i thought it looked really nice i love i love sweet corn um, and i love spring onions it really didn't take too long to whip up i've just got to wait for it to cook now if you're interested in um, this cookbook then I'll, uh, I'll link it in the description I found it in Oliver Bonus along with the other cookbook um, that I got the other day what are these little bits of my hair doing at the moment I, what is that whilst my lunch cooks I'm going to pop some makeup on the plan for today is or was I'm not too sure if it's going to happen now but the plan was to film the last little bit to my Ikea kitchen video that I filmed over Christmas also to film the tag video was also to film the tag video that Zoe tagged me in a while ago. I thought that would be a good video to get back on with. And then I've got loads of video ideas for the for the next few months really. But the weather's not really playing ball. It's annoying because I've relaxed so much with making videos. And I'm like, yeah, cool. I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to film it. And it will work out and it will all be fine. I'm not overthinking it all. But it is so dark. I don't think we've seen the sun for the last two days. And although I like it when it's overcast because it means that the lighting's not too all over the place. It's not great when it's like overcast and like no sun. Probably makes no sense, but right now it's dark. It feels like it's dusk or dawn right now. I'm gonna use my Aven moisturizer today. I've been loving it the last couple of nights. I'm gonna use it for the day actually because I just feel like my skin needs it. If I don't end up filming today, um, I've still got some bits that I need to do in town. So I'll go into town and get those bits done. Obviously I'll get Delilah from the Childminders and then my mum's gonna pop round and see her for a little bit in the evening. <laughs> Can you see now why I've done a weekly vlog this week? Because these are like my usual weeks. They're just very uneventful, like a lot, like I get a lot done and it's always productive but it's never particularly like anything major to vlog about. It does feel quite nice putting makeup on though when I've not had it on for a couple of days. I love that I'm at a stage in my life now where wearing makeup isn't the be all and end all. Like I, re I remember a time where I wouldn't even go to the corner shop late in the evening or something without makeup on. Like you, people would rarely see me without makeup on. Yet now I have more makeup free days than I do makeup days. And it's just so nice and then like you really appreciate the days when you do put makeup on because it like feels quite nice you don't feel like you're constantly 
putting it on or like you have to put it on it doesn't feel like a chore that's definitely been something that's come with having delilah because i remember like the first few times i went out without makeup on because i just didn't have the energy to put it on didn't have the time with delilah to put it on and uh, she was still really young and i remember feeling so self-conscious and now I will choose to not wear makeup on days where I'm actually going out and about and doing something and I'm like, I don't want to put makeup on today, so I'm just not going to. And it just, it's crazy how your mindset changes in such a short space of time. And I'm not exactly any more confident about the way I look or anything like that, it's just, it's become second nature now, I'm just so used to not wearing it. Whereas before, I was so accustomed to wearing makeup every single day. Ironically, my skin was better back then, but I think that's probably because I didn't have hormones rushing around my body from pregnancy and breastfeeding and things. Carry on putting my makeup on, um, stop nattering and figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of the day. Gonna tuck into lunch, this bowl is so hot. I've popped on some extra spring onions, some coriander and a squeeze of lime. It doesn't look very appetising but I've had a spoonful and it's really nice. Perfect for cold daylight today as you can tell because I've got my, my blanket on top of me. I've just finished filming my tag video. Very rosy cheeked because this jumper is boiling. I'm next to the radiator and I've been drinking coffee. I'm really glad I got that done now because I don't have to worry about that. It's quarter past three now. I've got to get Delilah in 45 minutes. I really wanted to go into town, but by the time I get my coat and shoes on, gather my thoughts as to everything I need to get done in town, and then get into town, there won't be any time to get back and get her. I feel like I'm gonna have to save that stuff for tomorrow, which isn't too bad because tomorrow I've definitely got to go into town. Um, so I'll just get that stuff done tomorrow. I might have a little snack now, import this footage, and then it'll be time to get Delilah. I've just finished doing the first bit of yoga that I have done in years. I have an urge to get back into doing it. I was never really fully into doing yoga or any form of exercise. I'm really at a point in my life where I genuinely want to do yoga and pilates and I feel like yoga and pilates are the way to go for me because it's a way to be in tune with your mind and your body work your body stretch your muscles feel good both physically and mentally it's like even just doing that just now oh my gosh i feel amazing basically i feel really positive about um starting doing yoga and pilates at home i've been doing yoga before it would just feel like a task that i would try and get into but i wouldn't really enjoy it i genuinely enjoyed um the little session i just did i just did day one out of the 30 yoga for adrian monthly things very beginner very slow i was you would have seen i was looking at the tv screen loads because i needed to see what i was doing but yeah yoga for adrian i discovered years ago when she probably had like a couple thousand subscribers so when i went on her channel today and saw that she had two million i was like what but it's very deserved she is great it was sunny the birds were singing it was just really peaceful and it just felt really nice. I feel like there's been a change in me, not just because it's the new year, but just a change in me as as I've gotten older where um, I, I'm genuinely enjoying eating healthier foods and doing things like yoga and, I know, rolling your eyes. This isn't a new year resolution or anything like that. It was just coincided with the new year, really. But I'm going to get out of my comfies now, get dressed and um, get on with the rest of my day. I've just refilmed, I, I feel like I've been terrible, like I don't think, I feel like I'm terrible at these weekly vlogs. Sorry, hang on. Get my bag. I feel like I'm terrible at these weekly vlogs. Um, I feel like I now know what I need to do to make them like my normal vlogs. I need to film a little bit more in between, film cutaways. But I feel like when I dedicate my day to filming for the day, I film loads of stuff and that's why I feel like they flow really well. But because I'm sort of like, no, I've got filming week like I don't need to film much I just feel like it just ends up a bit naff but yeah I'll work on it I have just refilmed the video I filmed yesterday because I wasn't happy with the light and towards the end of the video it got so dark and blue like my whole face was blue I refilmed it I'm happier I've done it now because um 
I'll be happy with the video. Yesterday felt like a bit of a write-off. I felt like I blinked and the day was over and I was a bit mad at myself because no, I just like, I, I hate it when I'm not productive. I was doing stuff, I wasn't just lazing around, but it just, nothing quite went right. And I really struggle with January. I, I struggle not to get too low and I feel like I've really, I've, I've done really well to keep myself going and to be in a good place. Yesterday was a bit of a mmm, but today I'm feeling good. I'm having a good day. I'm glad I refilmed that video. I am now rushing off to go to the bank because I've got a meeting. I always feel like such a lemon saying I've got a meeting at the bank. <laughs> but um, it's just to kind of go over um, a couple more boring adult things. I'm about to jump in a taxi because um, it was either have a nice stroll into town but not have not have any lunch or have some lunch and get a taxi so I thought I should probably have some lunch. I've got my keys, my phone, I just, right, okay, let's go. I'm just walking to the bank now after picking myself up a cappuccino and I stupidly forgot to ask for a decaf. I accidentally got a normal co a normal cappuccino and I've already had two normal co caffeinated coffees today so probably shouldn't drink all of this otherwise Delilah might be wired before bed. I run home, I'm just grabbing a few bits. Got some bread for tomorrow, a butternut squash, because I'm gonna make some butternut squash soup tonight for mine and Delilah's lunch tomorrow. Got her some fruit. I also thought I'd pick myself up some flowers because why not? We don't have any fresh flowers in the flat at the moment. I need to put my um my yoga mat away it's not really a yoga mat i've had it for years but it's just a really squishy sort of exercise mat all rounder exercise mat i'm just gonna sit down here i haven't managed to get much editing done the last couple of days i'm getting really annoyed at myself because it's not like i haven't been doing anything but i've just been ticking off other stuff that needs doing i guess i can't be annoyed at myself i have still been getting stuff done but yeah i'm gonna do some editing tonight had a really bad night with delilah the night before last night and she was waking up every half an hour until about one or two and then Thankfully she went to sleep for the rest of the night. It's these flipping, it's these teeth that are coming through. They're really bothering her. But then last night she slept beautifully. So hopefully we'll have another good night tonight and um, I can get some editing done tonight. Anyway, um, so on the way home, I um, quickly nipped into our local fruit and veg store, green grocers, whatever you want to call it. It's right on the way home for me. Um, and it's really handy because they sell a lot of stuff that isn't packaged. So. If I'm in the supermarket and I think actually I could get that not packaged, like um, I picked up some Monge 2 for Delilah. You can only get Monge 2 packaged when you're in, say, like Tesco or Mark. So stuff like that. If I can get it not packaged in plastic, then I will do that. It's annoying that things like raspberries and blueberries, which Delilah loves, it doesn't matter where you get them from, they're always packaged. Or at least packaged in plastic. I wish they'd start packaging them in like cardboard or something. But yeah, I feel like I feel like it's quite a big thing at the moment. People trying to reduce the amount of plastic that they use. And I do think that although it's a big problem now, I do feel like huge changes will happen over the next couple of years. And I think supermarkets will start to become a little bit more savvy about what actually needs to be packaged and what doesn't. I have been trying to go to the local um green grocers a lot more just one it supports local farmers two it's it, i think it's a little bit cheaper although they don't stock any organic stuff in our one but the main reason is that they have a lot of stuff unpackaged which is great so um i try and get stuff in there when i can did that on the way home and back home now just gonna unpack the shopping that i've dumped on the table over there and grab something to eat and then um go pick up Delilah. Has Delilah been in this week's vlog yet? I don't know. So yeah, let's go get her. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, it's a good sound, isn't it? I rushed to get the camera because she was being really cute. As soon as I took her snowsuit and shoes off, she laid down on her front on the yoga mat, which I thought was really sweet. But then she got up and then started playing with my vitamins. Don't worry, I don't let her play with these regularly. <laughs> it's just she got them off the table. Mm. And then now I've got biscuit all over them. What have you found? No! Now this goes back in the box. 
I know I forgot I left it on the table because I moved it earlier. Although I still have loads to do this week, it's quite nice knowing that tomorrow it's just a Delilah and me day. There's no rush to get her to the childminders in the morning. I've got a couple of hours now till her dinner, so we're just gonna do what we usually do, just play and catch up and have some me and you time, aren't we? Probably watch a little bit of Peppa Pig and have a cuddle on the sofa. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little stir fry for Delilah's dinner tonight. She quite likes it, like she likes having the noodles. So I have these um, egg noodles here. She's quite good with eating like the courgettes and she doesn't normally like, she doesn't really like mushrooms, but I always put them in just because you never know. One minute toddlers like stuff and the next they don't. Unless she really, really doesn't like something, then um, I usually like to just pop it in. Got a couple of little carrots, some mange too. Gonna to cut a tiny bit of courgette mushroom. Um, I'm then gonna do some egg Playing with your magnets. Eh? Yeah. Eh? Uh oh, got it. <laughs> I'm still using my Christmas oven glove and pot holder from Anthropology, but I like them so much. So until I find some non Christmassy ones I like just as much, I'm going to keep using them. <laughs> what are you doing? Sound like a funny noise. Hey. <laughs> I think I think that's stuck on. Hey. This is Delilah's dinner. I usually mix it all together like you normally would with a stir fry, but I always find that the veggies and everything kind of gets lost in the noodles, so I thought I'd do a little deconstructed version. Do you want dip dip? <laughs> she's asking for mayonnaise. And she's got her eggs here and some noodles here, which I've cut up. And both the egg noodles and vegetables have a teeny tiny bit of soy sauce in them. Whilst Delilah's up there having her dinner, I've been down here sorting through some of our uh, some of our snacks. Really needs a good clear out in here, and not just a clear. What well, doesn't really need a huge clear out, but what it does need is some organisation because there's just no way to organise everything in here. This isn't like the most sturdy, so we don't really turn it round much. So we need things to be accessible. I bought this for our fridge, um, and it was a bit of a fail because I took all the labels off, put it in our fridge thinking it definitely would fit and then um, it's just a tiny little bit too big and this little handle here means we can't shut the door. Instead of it going to waste, I thought actually this would be quite good in here and we can store all our little snacks that usually end up getting lost in there. That's what I've been doing for the last couple of minutes. Hello! Is Daddy home? I've come into the bathroom to have a super speedy hair wash. I really don't want to wash my hair, but I'll know I'm, I know I'll be glad I did it. I'm gonna do that really awkward thing where I hang over the bath because I'd really, really like to have a bath once I put Delilah to bed. There's no point in me getting in the shower now to then have a bath because my skin will just be like a prune. <laughs> and I really, really want to try these new deep sleep bath soak stuff from This Works. I bought my pillow spray from them and um, I got this as a little freebie. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I have been using recently. This is the stuff they use on me at the hairdressers. I really like it, it smells nice, makes my hair feel soft. I'll link them in the description if you want to check them out because I really should wa wash my hair and not waffle on about shampoo. <laughs> just brushed my hair. It's like the only time I brush my hair is before I wash my hair because this happens. I think my makeup's gonna have to come off too. Oops. Um. <laughs> 
Look at mommy's makeup. <laughs> oh dear. He and his dad are spending the whole no. day together. Yeah. No. See your dog. Woof, woof. They play football at the park. These are lavender and vetiver salts um, to help relax you and give you a good night's sleep. I love the This Works pillow spray. Delilah has the baby version and I have the just original adult version. So if it's anything like this sleep spray, this is going to be really nice. Gone. Morning guys, we are just about to head out to meet a friend and her little one. Feeling quite tired today. I went to bed at sort of half nine ten and sometimes I like to watch some YouTube videos before I go to bed. So I did that but then I also I saw something online that bothered me and I kept thinking about it and it upset me a little bit and then like, I just couldn't get to sleep until about half one. <laughs> and you know when you've been in bed a while, it then gets a bit uncomfortable and a bit hot. And what I really needed to do was get out of bed to then refresh myself and then get back into bed. But then I thought, what am I going to do if I get up? And so I just stayed in, stayed in bed feeling irritated and like uncomfortable. And I finally fell asleep, I think, about half one. Feeling it a bit today. It's going to be very chilled out, no makeup, wear whatever kind of day. I'm wearing this jumper that I've not worn in years i've had it for about eight nine years now it's a really old top shop navy cable knit jumper it's the tattiest thing i've not worn it out in public for a long long time but i just felt like wearing it teamed it with my asos mum jeans um these are a slightly newer pair i had to downsize because my other ones were getting really baggy these fit a lot nicer around my waist don't look so baggy on my bum ah oh, guys this week is testing me i'm staying pretty positive i am really working hard to not be like oh this is a rubbish week i can't stand it when like i'm on twitter and people are already going oh i've had a bad day or oh, 2018's already off to a, a crap start and i'm like chill out it's one day okay don't like don't be so negative and i used to be like that maybe up until the last year or two especially recently i've um i've been really surprised at myself like something bad will happen and i'll just be like ah, oh well let's move on still it doesn't mean it's a bad day i just work through the emotions it doesn't it does it doesn't you guys are probably like what the hell are you talking about rihanna like <laughs> um but yeah this week has just tested me and today i've been feeling a bit anxious not for like a huge reason and i've just been feeling a bit meh and this week is just like lots of little ah. things have happened that have not been like great thank you <laughs> she's playing with this card game and like she loves just putting things in and out of stuff and even like today i've had like all these like rubbish emotions but i've been positive and like worked through it and that's something i've really learned just naturally learned to do the last um year so yeah basically today's just really not going well i mean the weather's rubbish um and i haven't really enjoyed walking home walking to and from town in the rain my mum was meant to be coming over later so um that's why we've got everything out of the way this morning and then my mum called me and had to cancel for the second time this week it's not her fault but um it's just a bit annoying because now it's like oh we have no one to see we've like crammed in seeing our friend this morning when we could have done with chilling out this morning and then seeing them later and then it would have the day would have panned out a bit better sometimes days go like that don't they and i, I, I don't know i just thought I'd, i i could have just not said anything because i know some people will be like oh stop complaining i'm not i'm just telling you how today's gone it doesn't matter we're gonna hang out for a bit we're gonna have some lunch then hopefully delilah will go down for a nap maybe i'll get some work done and then we'll just we'll just spend the day together at home do some rainy day activities do some painting and play-doh and it will still be a nice day um and we'll just stay at home all nice and cozy and warm on the way home delilah and i just had um had a very slow stroll back home i went through some small pathways so delilah could um get out the pram and have a little walk and explore and she was picking up some of the leaves and and stuff i just wanted to waste some time slash burn some energy so that she naps later also feeling very spoiled i just arrived home to 
one parcel I was expecting. I've got a little white company parcel here, which is Delilah's new sleeping bag. But then I arrived to this. It's huge. Oh, we don't know what it is, do we? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to open it? No. <laughs> <laughs> See Delilah's face right now. Oh, Bubba, will you wait for Mummy to go through it? She loves playing with these peanuts. But don't eat them, okay? You just play with them. Oh my goodness. Let's put you guys here. Ooh. Got a couple of little gift boxes. This is from their Valentine's Day collection. I was thinking about their Valentine's Day stuff the other day. We've got another stay in London um, one or two nights. I need to decide if we're going to do two, one or two nights next month. I don't know if it's going to be as big as the Lush showcase that we went to. But it's still another little Lush event that we're going to. And I'm so excited. This stuff smells amazing. God. This smells so good. These are their little gift gift boxes. They can't see you, can they? There you go. Is that your one? Have you decided? In here, we have a little... Oh, <laughs> lips come off. The Kiss Lip Scrub. It's in an impromptu um, Lush haul, isn't it? Oh, what's this? I'm guessing this is a little body scrub the heart on and a cherry i'm not going to give that to you darling because it's not got any packaging on it oh and then we've got oh it smells like cocoa we've got another little i think this is like a massage bar i need to have a look at what what's in it oh we've got one of their naked shower gels so this is their attempt to use no packaging at all in it and it's a solid shower gel and you just wet it rub it together and it lathers up and you wash yourself zero percent packaging and solid which means i'm guessing there's no preservatives in there i'm gonna pop these back in here so delilah doesn't try to eat any not that i think you will darling but just in case <laughs> you're gonna pop pop all of these back in here good girl and then we have the second one which i'll read out what it says so we have a tisty tosty bath bomb oh and it's pink this time then we've got a love boat bath bomb whole lot of love bubble rune unicorn horn and rose bombshell bath bomb do you want to help me pull this yeah this reminds me of my first flat because i moved into my first flat in january time in 2000 and i don't know 2014 obviously all the valentine's day stuff was out all their valentine's day stuff smells the same and it smells just like that it takes me back so yeah this is an updated tisky tosky bath bomb so it used to be all white um are you smelling it? Oh, thank you. So this is a unicorn horn. These are bubble bars. And then we've got the rose bath bomb. This is called, I think it's called Love Boat. Look at that. Smell it. <laughs> oh, that smells really good. It's really, um... Oh, what's that remind me of? It's kind of like sherbet-y, citrusy kind of smell. Got a little bubble rune. Love heart, that smells really good as well. She's walking around with the um with the ribbon around her neck going Beautiful. I should probably uh clear this all up. That's not parcels. <laughs> Busy doing her own thing. Yeah. After just realised I, I need yeah. to take this down, but the mantelpiece is going to feel so empty without the garland. Thank you so much, Lush, for those um, goodies. I really wasn't expecting that to be, uh, be at our door when we got home. And then this that I was expecting. This is Delilah's new sleeping bag. This is the only one that I could get that was still available online. Ah, <laughs> silly Billy. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah? Is it nice and soft? You're a silly sausage. That's my random little haul. Um, I'm, I'm now going to make us some lunch.
We've both got some tomato soup and some cheesy bread, which Delilah loves to dip, 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 don't you? And we're just gonna sit here and quietly have some lunch together. <laughs> Delilah's been asleep for over two hours now. She still looks sound asleep. It kills me to have to go in and wake her, but if I don't wake her up, then she won't be tired for bedtime tonight. Oh, hi gorgeous. Hi. You're all sleepy. running to? <laughs> Where are you running? Oh, are you helping me tidy up? You're such a good girl. Let's move the high chair out of the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, clever girl. Oh, you are such a good girl. You are such a good girl. Oh my gosh, you're so clever. Well done. Oh, I'm proud of you. you can give me a high five. High five. <laughs> been working my way through a pile of washing up that's just there's just so much i don't know why there's always so much we seem to have more and more stuff that can't go in the dishwasher because either our dishwasher doesn't wash it properly or they're not dishwasher proof as you can hear i've just popped some washing on put delilah's dinner on yeah just sort of getting bits done <laughs> Yeah, it's so right, you clever girl. Whee! 
Are you brushing my hair? <laughs> oh, thank you. Hello? Hello? Is it a phone? It's just to like you and I for bath time tonight. <laughs> Anyway, it's um, just Delilah and I for um, bath time tonight, which is which is nice because I don't usually do bath time because it's a hair and dogs thing. But yeah, it'd be nice. It's just me and you for bath time today, Bubba. Is that alright? But it's always fun watching us splash around in the bath. So I don't get to do it that often. But yeah, Doug's gonna be back later from work tonight. Uh oh, we should probably put Hetty away, shouldn't we? Yeah. Hetty's kind of in the way. Let's do that. Okay, that. That's for you. Back. Back. Yeah, back. You, your speech is getting so good. I finally remembered to take the Christmas garland down. I'm going to be sad to put it away, but I look forward to putting it up again next Christmas. It didn't really come in anything to store it in, so I'm just going to wrap it up in some of this tissue paper, pop it in this bag, and, um, and put it with the other Christmas decorations. Lila's looking very yeah. cute today in her pigtails. I don't yeah. know how long they uh, will. I don't know how long they're staying for. Yeah. Usually they're staying for half an hour if I'm lucky. <laughs> yes, just playing with, playing with my spray, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, put the lid back on. Put it away. And then her top is from the Jewels range at Mother Care. She's got a little Zara cardigan on, a mango leggings, a little Oliver bonus socks. <laughs> Hello, cheeky. Is that you? <laughs> Your hair has grown so much. Just finished Delilah's first monkey music class of the year, and uh, now we've nipped into boots to get her some nappies and wipes and a few little snacky bits. Grab some bits for lunch, the lunch just for her lunch. Shake, shake, shake. You probably noticed that all of our stuff is off of the bookshelf, bookcase, book, bookshelf, ladder shelf, whatever you want to call it, because I've been having a good old dust and clean around. Got our uh, cheese plant from our bedroom in here because I've been wiping it and everything's off the mantelpiece as well because i'm just trying to sort some just trying to sort stuff out and have a nice clean and tidy delilah is obsessed with that um with that mat oh these shelves i know i get asked about them all the time and because i mentioned them earlier i'll let you guys know where they're from they're from john lewis 
I'm pretty sure they still have them because every time we go into John Lewis I still see them there. We got them when we first moved in here and it was like my first proper piece of furniture well it's the first piece of furniture that we got together and the first like, proper piece of furniture that actually cost a bit of money whereas all my other stuff in my old flat was from ikea gumtree my sofa was 30 pounds the coffee table that i love and we still have was i think 30 pounds as well off of gumtree i'll link this in the description because i know i get asked about it almost every video It's <laughs> a lovely song. <laughs> this little one hasn't gone down for a nap. I really thought she would. She was tired. Do you want to sit on the bed? Sorry. Sorry. Okay, just stand on it. Stand on the box. I don't care. didn't go down for a nap and a bit touchy as you can tell I'm really annoyed because on the way home she was falling asleep because she got up at um she got up about an hour earlier than she normally does today and then obviously was up for a lot of the night and she was falling asleep in the pram and I was like no no we're just around the corner from home let's have some lunch and then I'll put you down for a nap so I can get some stuff done she hasn't gone down for a nap she literally just cried for the last 20 minutes I wolfed my lunch down and now she's up. I thought I would do a little Zara haul because some stuff came today. I've just ordered a couple of random bits in the sale. I think maybe some new bits. It's all for her by the way. But obviously she's growing. Growing very quickly aren't you? I've bought her like a couple of 18 to 2 year items. But actually I'm starting to buy her all 2 to 3 years already. Because it's just no point in getting her other stuff. Because she's wearing a lot of 18 to 2 years already. And a lot of those fit her well now so i just feel like there's not much point in buying her current age group so i ordered these little bits in the sale the other day i thought i'd just show you them because you liked my little zara haul i did with her a while ago bit of a theme with stripes <laughs> that wasn't planned what are your new clothes papa zara leggings are my favorite so i got her some stripy zara leggings do you like it um and these are like the the ribbed ones oh no there's a like a blue pen mark down them oh darling these might have to go back you step back. What have you done to the camera? Darling, back you go. What's happened? That's not okay. Are you smiling? <laughs> Darling, what have you done to the camera? <laughs> there we go. My goodness. What happened there? Got her this stripy dress. This is in two to three years. And I think this will fit her now. Minus having to roll the sleeves up a bit. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I got her this in the sale and she'll wear this next. Like probably autumn time this isn't really a winter jacket almost like a teddy coat style cardigan thing i don't know probably just good for her to wear in the autumn time and again this is two to three years so i didn't see the point in getting her current size with a lot of stuff i'm like if i can get it cheaper for next season then great doesn't matter does it if it was last season <laughs> oh okay so yeah got her that it's very soft and warm and cuddly i like it do you want it on you are definitely my daughter, aren't you? <laughs> she was like, on, on, I want to try it on. I'm gonna do a little catwalk. It might be too big for you. <laughs> to roll the sleeves. I have to roll the sleeves down. I'm gonna do a little catwalk. I'm gonna strike a pose and go, jeez. <laughs> oh, you look so sweet. Do you wanna show them? Look, do you wanna see yourself? Oh, she's taken it off already. Oh. You said you wanted it on, you lemon. <laughs> you might have seen her wearing these um, in a red, oh my gosh, I'm trying to do this really quickly. She wore something very similar to this yesterday, I think, again from Zara, in a burgundy colour. This is a quite, um, this fabric feels a bit different, but it's the same style. It's got as little wooden buttons down the front. It's in this blue, kind of very 90s pattern. But this is comfy clothes to wear. This is 18 to 24 months, but this looks huge. So yeah, this will definitely last her a while. I then picked her up these dungarees. Again, I think they're two, two to three years. I thought they were sweet. They've got rope over the shoulders. It might have problems with is like normally dungarees are adjustable. These are. I'm going to show you them. Trying to show them. I don't even think you guys are straight right now, but Delilah will probably move you, so I'm gonna try and go fast. The lining is in this sweet um, floral stripe design. And just denim dungarees will be fab all year round. Look really cute in the summer though. Got some little jogging bottoms for her. Just because she doesn't really have 
I mean, I don't really mind most of her clothes getting covered in dirt and things, but it'll be nice to have like some go-to play clothes, like jogging bottoms. So yeah, little grey jogging bottoms. Got um like a funny pocket thing at the back. I'll try and link everything in the description. By the way, I don't get commission on Zara stuff, but I'll still link it because i've always linked stuff even before i got commission on stuff i always link stuff but yeah so i've got her nose i think again they're two to three years oh no they're 18 to 24 months they look quite big but i feel like once they're on they probably won't be that big and then i got her some knitwear because zara knitwear is great she has this jumper in a mustard color ah! oh dear Oink, 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 oink. Yeah, they wash well. You just put them in with a normal cotton wash, and they and they come out looking fine, looking and feeling fine. Whereas some stuff I've got on her that isn't from Zara, as lovely as it is, because it's wool, it's really hard to wash, and you have to put it in separate washes. I think that's it, guys. Next lot of clothes, really. Are you sleeping? Are you pretending to sleep? <laughs> As you can probably hear, Delilah's not too happy. Well, basically what's happened, then my mum turned up and so Delilah's not slept. She's not slept at all today. She's not had any naps at all. Nothing, nada. If you're a parent, you, you know that naps, naps are important. And I don't think I can recall a time that she's not even had like 10 minutes before. Like she's never not had anything. So she's having an early bath with Doug. Um, I've been doing the usual whipping around, tidying up a little bit. On a positive, fireplace is looking nice and um, nice. It's looking very bare. I'm not used to it looking so bare, but it's nice and clean. I've had a good old dust off the bookshelf. I've got my new candle here, which I like. It adds a little pop of colour. Hi, gorgeous. eating leftover quality street from christmas we can have dinner and watch the first episode of black mirror that is the end of my second weekly vlog my next vlog will just be a, a normal vlog i hope you're all well and i will i'll see you in my next vlog oh by the way guys it's quarter past eight and i'm going to bed I don't think i've been to bed this early in a very 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 long time i don't even know when i've ever got to bed this early so i'll see you soon